Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for part 6 of our Eagle 3 tutorial. Uh, my name is Dan Higgins from Astroworld uh, and as always please like, please subscribe, let us know how we're doing. If you just want to make fun of me that's fine too, I'm okay with that. Uh, I've gotten a lot of, lot of lovely comments recently. Uh, so we're going to be talking about hardware installations and the Eagle 3 uh, Pro. So let's dive right in and let's see how to hook up our hardware. Okay, so let's take a look at the Eagle. And it actually is a very, very pretty product. Um, they did a nice job with the machining of this. Uh, and know the, the saddles and the dovetail in the back. They're not included with the Eagle. So if you want them, you'll have to purchase them and put them on yourself. So one of the cool things about the Eagle is that you could set it up in a bunch of different configurations. You could put rings on top. You could do saddles on the bottom. Or you could do as I have. You could put some saddles on the top. This is actually for my Echo and for my for uh, my guide scope, believe it or not. Uh, and uh, the one thing, thing that makes it possible is that if you look at the top and the bottom of the Eagle, on the top and on the bottom, there's pre-drilled holes in, in the casing. So, and that's sizes M5 and M6. Uh, so you could use any sort of configuration you want in putting equipment on top and the bottom. And this is solid. You don't, you don't have to worry about that. I wouldn't be putting a 100 pound weight on top of it, but it's pretty sturdy. Just make sure you pay very close attention. I believe it's on page 20 of the manual and there are screw size restrictions that you really want to pay close attention to because you could potentially screw too far and damage the computer inside here. Uh, so you really want to read into that. Follow the screw length restrictions to the T. Do not get a $2,000 paperweight, okay? I don't want to see you do that. So, so make sure that you follow the restrictions very closely. Okay, so here's a picture of my mount and how I have the Eagle set up. And it, I know it's a little weird and unconventional and whatever. Everyone keeps on asking me, well, why do you got the wires coming out the side? Well, here's, here's my crazy theory on this. The Atlas EQ mount on the left side where the power cable is and the serial port is and all the controls are on the left side, let's say, per, if you're standing behind it. So I figured, you know what? A friend of mine, Minos, uh, came up to me and said, well, why don't we kind of turn the eagle so that the wires, the power cables, will come out the right side so it can uh, kind of even out the drag and maybe it'll help you out. So the results so far from putting the wires on the right side, um, I have dropped my guiding about two-tenths of an arc minute. Uh, so I'm guiding right now at 0.4 arc minutes, um, total RMS. Now... Before I had the Eagle, it was about 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Now that's not comparing apples to apples, but I never had the wires coming out the back. So um, I, right now I'm guiding at about 0.4, so I'll keep it the way it is. I, I like my guiding the way it is right now. Um, as far as putting stuff on the top, the stuff on the top I have my Echo, which is my environmental control unit. That's an uh, accessory for the Eagle, which will control your dew heaters and, and sense the humidity and sense the temperature for you. And then this is for my F4 uh, 30mm guide scope with a uh, ASI 178 monochrome. So that's how I have that set up. The one thing I want you to remember is that before you apply power to the Eagle, make sure that you put in all the, the uh, things that you need, all your peripherals that you need, um, your, your mount, your cameras, your dew heaters, whatever it is, all the powers that's going out, power to your mount, Power to your uh, focus controller if you have it. Uh, power to your pole master. Whatever you got power for, um, put that in first. And then when you're done, apply your power to the Eagle uh, and then turn it on. So you do have the potential to short out. U USB ports can be finicky. Uh, the things in here can be finicky. Uh, you know, we're still dealing with the Windows operating system. Uh, so so um, just make sure at the end, just plug everything in first and then apply the power. And that's really all there is to hardware. Hardware is very, very easy. Uh, just remember, don't forget to use the proper size screws. I can't stress that enough. You don't want to clip your eagle's wings uh, before it starts learning how to fly. So please make sure that, again, you go to page 20 of your man manual and make sure you use the proper length screws. So coming up next uh, is part 7, and I believe it's going to be our final part to the Eagle 3 tutorial. It's going to be regarding the Eagle Manager interface. Uh, so please feel free to join us for part seven coming up next 
And as usual, please subscribe, please like, please comment, let us know how we're doing. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, keep imaging, keep educating, and keep having fun. My name is Dan Higgins for Astroworld. Thank you so much for watching.